Okay, in this video we are going to continue on with our feature sheet and uh, the next one that we're going to work with is listings and then your contact info. And this is my suggestion. While you're in Paint, you can you can change these uh, the, the names of the boxes and put in any types of QR codes that you like, but these are the ones that I found to be the most popular is directions, website, uh, your listings page, and your contact information. So let's take care of a of a link to your listings page. So let's go to the website and all we're going to do is just click on listings this will load up and then all we want to do is copy the URL control C and then we want to go into QR code generator and we're going to stick with the um, with the website uh, URL and all we're going to do is hit control V to paste in the new one and we wait for this to update once again you can download this image in case you want to send it off somewhere newsprint or weekly real estate guides anything that you like now I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy the image and I'm going to go back into paint and hit control V and I'm just going to drag this once again into the top left corner and I'm going to hold down the shift key and grab the bottom right corner and just drag it until it sizes the way that I want it. Okay so that one's done so let's go back to the next one and the next one that we're going to deal with is uh, contact information and here it is it's called contact details. Now this one there's four fields that you want to put in. You want to put in your first name, you want to put in your last name and then we want to come down here and put in our cell number and the other one that we want to put in is our email and then with this one you want to go down and you want to click on this one to embed as is. That's all you have to do. Just click on that and then you'll see that this has been updated so I can download this image so that I always have that handy so I can use it anytime I want. And then I'm just going to right click on this and copy image. Now we'll just go into paint and hit control V once again. And then I'm going to grab this and I'm going to drag it to the top left corner hold down the shift key, grab the bottom right corner and just drag it until it is sized the way that I want it. Now all I have to do is go up here to file and click on save as and you want to make sure that you're saving this as a JPEG and there it is uh, just put it into any folder that you that you want and then all you have to do is save and then you just have to click on OK and flatten and that is exactly how we build a feature sheet it literally only takes a, a few minutes to do and you can always change things up and you'll see that if, if you want to type things in you can actually take the information right off your feature sheet. So anyway that's that's one of the main focuses that we have as a feature sheet. If you do um, virtual tours I'll show you in the next video how we do a virtual tour and some of the other QR code functions. Anyway I'll see you in the next video.